Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday of the fourth week of Easter. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, for no merit on our part, you have brought us out of death into life, out of sorrow into joy. Put no end to your gifts. Fulfill your marvelous acts in us and grant to us who have been justified by faith the strength to persevere in that faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from Paul's letter to the Colossians, the third chapter, beginning at the 18th verse. Wives, be subject to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and never treat them harshly. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is your acceptable duty in the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, or they may lose heart. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, not only while being watched and in order to please them, but wholeheartedly fearing the Lord. Whatever your task, put yourselves into it as done for the Lord and not for your masters, since you know that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You serve the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for whatever wrong has been done, and there is no partiality. Masters, treat your slaves justly and fairly, for you know that you also have a master in heaven. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us as well that God will open to us a door for the word, that we may declare the mystery of Christ for which I am in prison, so that I may reveal it clearly as I should. Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. Here ends the lesson. Today's reading can be quite challenging to read and embrace in a society and culture that promotes, encourages, and values egalitarian relationships. Paul says that wives are to submit to their husbands as their heads. While there certainly are patriarchal undertones to this claim, there is a theological basis in these words that has value and is worthy of our consideration and dialogue. The first, and maybe most obvious, comes from 1 Timothy 2.13, where the apostle recalls that in the order of creation, man was created first, then woman, thereby reflecting the unity of God reflected through the Trinity. The implication is that just as Christ submits to the Father, with both being God and separate persons within the Trinity of God, the wife can submit to the husband. Husband and wife are equal as spouses in the covenant of marriage. Submission that comes from within the bounds of mutual love is fitting in the Lord. Just as obedience to government is commanded in letters such as the letter to the Romans, it is important to remember that all in authority are subordinate to the will and authority of God. Ultimately, all who have been entrusted with authority over others will be judged accordingly on how they used that authority, whether to their own glory or the glory of God. A wife's submission to her husband is conditioned on being in the Lord. Husbands are to love their wives as Christ loves the church. 
Paul is describing a maturing marriage whereby the husband exercises compassionate care for his wife whose response is willing submission to his loving leadership. Paul also says that children are to obey their parents in everything as obedience to parents pleases the Lord. In his letter to the Ephesians, Paul says, It is right, just, or proper for children to obey their parents. Equally controversial to many in our day is the idea that slaves are urged to obey their earthly masters. Earthly is literally according to the flesh, as opposed to Christ being master of the spirits of slaves who accept him as Lord. The concept of responsibility for those who have lordship over others can speak to Christian employees and employers today. What would it look like if all in positions of authority served as though they were serving God? Paul is saying that all Christians, and especially those in leadership, need to always remember that they are serving the Lord Christ. How they handle this responsibility, being just, fair, and compassionate to all entrusted to their care, or the criteria by which they will be judged. Let us pray. O God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear His voice, we may know Him who calls us each by name and follow where He leads, who, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship on Saturdays at 4.30 or Sunday mornings at 8 o'clock or 9.30 a.m. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings.